Swaranam, uh, Sarva Papa Nivaranam. It takes away all the Papas you have already done. It cleanses. It can do the cleansing process. Namaskaranam. Then, uh, Namaskaranam is there. Sarva Papa Pranasaranam, Pranamo Dukkha Samanaha. Then along with that, if you do Pranam, your Dukkhas will be, whatever Dukkhas you are having temporarily, they will all be extinguished. That's all. Then Namami Hari Param. But nowhere it says it will take you to the Lord. That is there. It's all these people who have started. That's all. This Shastra has said that you do Namaskar, it is nowhere, nowhere written in it. Even in the Puranas it is told like that. That's all. Namaswarna gives the first part. The first part is keep your house clean. Second part is call the president of India to come. There is no only part. So that even this thoughtlessness that you are talking about, even that doesn't take you. There's a direct. There's direct. Because the, the day you leave the thoughts of the world, you are in the realm of the Lord. So you are you can catch it easily. So that's a direct, direct part. part. The, the thoughtlessness. The, <laughs> thoughtlessness. Yes, there is no mind. No mind. Is that the same as the Shunya, as you were saying? No, 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 it's not Shunya. Yeah. Because ultimately you will go there. So you know that there is some real loving entity. You don't have. See, all these things are done with your mind on the goal. The goal there is Shunya, the goal here is Purna. Okay. Ah. So thoughtlessness is actually, without a mantra, is actually the direct. It can take, because all the mantras lead to thoughtlessness. And then from thoughtless you go there. In my book, I have written the entire process. So, uh, it, it only shortcuts, that's all. So directly do it. But then it, again it requires, it all depends how much you are able to. <laughs> reach that state of thoughtlessness. <laughs> very worrying, Swamiji. <laughs> everything. The whole process is very worrying. Ultimately, everything comes. The grace of God is there. That's all. The grace of God, the grace of the Guru. Because you can never depend on the Guru's competence. So we depend directly on the Guru's grace. See, you may take any, any Guru as we like. But if he is very, very competent only, then he can be helpful to us. <laughs>